Now to the Upper Valley, where New Hampshire's largest hospital is spearheading research into a new way to vaccinate against COVID-19. NBC5's John Hawks checked in with scientists at Dartmouth-Hitchcock Medical Center. Researchers at Dartmouth-Hitchcock Medical Center in Lebanon are part of a team working to develop the first COVID-19 nasal spray vaccine. We're building on the idea of a vaccine that was um, is been used in the U.S. military to prevent respiratory disease that military recruits as they enter into basic training uh, often um, get. It's a very effective, very safe vaccine. The work is a collaboration with the National Institute of Health in Exothera, a biomedical company based in Belgium. And Dr. Wright and his team saying the vaccine doesn't require refrigeration and won't need to be administered by a medical professional. Their hope is to distribute it to developing parts of the world, saying there are upsides over the already available vaccine delivered via syringe. Some very practical advantages. It's easier to give. Uh, it should be much less expensive. And it should be uh, quite, we say, heat stable. Researchers have been working on this iteration since the early stages of the pandemic. Dr. Wright is predicting one and a half to two years before it's out and available for humans. The vaccine is going through extensive testing, and clinical trials are planned for in the U.S. and in Africa. The type of vaccine will help prevent the transmission of the virus. Officials say the current vaccine is very effective with preventing individuals from catching COVID-19. We think this vaccine, by stimulating immunity in the respiratory tract, would be the type of vaccine that would protect or limit the amount of transmission. Intranasal vaccines have been used to protect against other viruses, such as measles and rubella, and researchers are comparing the delivery to oral drops that are used around the world to deliver polio vaccines. In Lebanon, John Hawks, NBC5 News.